What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Well, I just read an interesting article, so I'm doing a follow-up video. Um, after the Carl Frotch mikhail Kessler fight, part two, part deux, I did a video. Um, again, great fight, two true warriors, and I enjoyed the fight thoroughly. Now, with that being said, Carl Frotch called out Andre Ward, said he wants a rematch. He says he's only going to fight in the UK. I made a simple point that him being a bigger draw is a that's that's fine and dandy. However, he already has taken a loss to Andre Ward, and they fought in a Showtime Super Six tournament where Ward didn't have the hometown advantage per se. It was on the East Coast. Ward is from the West Coast. I had a lot of bloody um, Englishmen. You know, I had a couple of guys, uh, possibly some Jason Statham fans. And they, they were quite mad that I had said that. So the the funny thing is Carl Frotch has now retracted and he's taken a different stance. Whereas before he was saying he would only fight in the UK. Now he's saying he's willing to make a fight in Las Vegas. And I just find it funny because I was going back and forth. Um, I'll put the video on the video responses. And a lot of people were complaining saying... I made a comment, I think, that uh, I said Andre Ward is it was in America. We all know that the Super 6 took place in America. Um, but they're saying it, is, it was his backyard, his Ward's backyard. Andre Ward and I, we both live in the Bay Area, California. New Jersey is not our backyard. I've never even been to New Jersey, to be honest. I want to go. I'd love to go, but never been there. Um, so to call it his backyard, it really isn't. It's a five- to six-hour flight. I said... Um, that could be considered neutral ground. Some people didn't like the video. Some people didn't like what I had to say. But facts are facts is fact. Like I said, if Team Ward decided that they just, they want a rematch in the UK and it, it's good for business, then I'm all for it. But Carl Frotch just being the bigger draw or beating Mikhail Kessler, another guy Ward has beat, I don't think just based on drawing power, he should hold the cards uh, completely and dictate whether and where the fight takes place. Anyway, Carl Frotz has he's recently told the BBC that he would like to rematch uh, Ward, but it doesn't have to be in the UK. He said, if the fight wasn't going to happen and someone said it could happen in Vegas, then i definitely say, yes, let's do it. I know it's in the United States. Let's get it on. Las Vegas is kind of neutral venue, believe it or not, because it's its own state of Nevada. They got their own commissioner. I've always wanted to fight in Las Vegas and the glitz and glamour. And my name up in lights. That is one thing I have not had in my career. Frotch also admitted that Ward is not the next option at the moment. He said, let's keep Ward on ice. At the moment, we have other options. He is still in rehab with his shoulders, so I could probably get a fight before Christmas. And in the spring or summer of next year, we can have a massive showdown with Ward. So, it doesn't even sound like Frotch is in a real rush to get back in the ring with Ward. Um... I think he beats him if they fight. I think Ward beats Frotch whether they fight in the UK, they fight in Frotch's, like, his house. It doesn't matter. I think he, he wins all the way just based on being more of a superior um, technician. And I think he's the more skilled. And a lot of people take offense to it. I have nothing against Carl Frotch. He is a very um, determined fighter. He's a warrior. I really like Carl Frotch. He has a granite chin. He has tremendous heart. But when you match up the skills, I just think Andre Ward is superior in that. I could be wrong, but that's just what I see. I see Ward beating him again, despite where they where they fight. But props to Frotch for always being game to fight these tough fights, Kesslers and whatnot, and for even making the attempt to, to suggest and budge from his initial stance. That shows a lot. This guy just likes to fight. This guy likes to put on a show that was evident in the Mikhail Kessler uh, rematch. So it's just funny because some of the stuff he's saying and how he's um, changing his stance, a lot of it was what I was telling people in the initial video, but they were saying, no, it's not neutral ground. And the funny thing is here in the Bay Area, to catch a flight to Vegas or even to drive, but to, if you were to fly, which is what they would probably do, um, to catch a flight to Vegas, it's literally like 45 minutes to an hour, and it's it's a quick flight to get to Vegas. However, 
when they fought at the Super 6, that's all the way in New Jersey. I think they have one airport in Atlantic City, um, which gets pretty booked. And I don't even know if they have many flights from Oakland to Atlantic City. So some people even have to fly into Philly and then drive to Jersey from there. So it's funny that he's now saying that he's willing to fight in America and neutral ground would be Las Vegas. But when I said New Jersey was neutral ground, some of you guys said, no, it's not. And Vegas to California Bay Area is a very short distance. And Carl Froch is saying that is neutral ground. But again, when a five to six hour flight to New Jersey, when I mentioned it neutral ground, some of you guys were saying, no, that's not neutral ground because it's all in America. It's in the same country. So it's funny. Um, I love being right. Thank you, Carl Froch. Thank you for putting on a hell of a performance. And I'm out. As always, hey, comment or subscribe. To the next video's Ego, signing off.